being able to provide financial assistance to soldiers in time of need is the right thing to do for our soldiers. These magnificent soldiers every day are willing to deploy to areas where they may be put in harm's way. They may be making multiple deployments. They're leaving their family behind. We have the resources, we're ready to assist, and we're happy to provide it. I'm a parachute rigger. Won't work. So every so often we have to pack our own chute and jump it for certification. If we won't jump our own chute, we can't expect no one else to jump. My job's not easy at all. It's not a job where you need to be distracted by anything. Right now I'm in the middle of uh, getting a divorce. It's pretty tough. Look how big they are. The first complication I had was finding a place to live where they would accept me having my children with me every other weekend. Not to mention the child support that I pay. So, so I went to my commander, I got the form, filled it out. Come over here in Army Emergency Relief, told him well, I'm going through a divorce. I need help with my rent, my utilities. And about 15 minutes later, they were handing me a check and telling me to have a good day. For all of us as soldiers in the Army, you know, we've got the, uh, the Soldier's Creed. And the Soldier's Creed really defines who we are as soldiers and who we are as leaders and what our roles and responsibilities are to our units and our organizations. But uh, the second paragraph of the Soldier's Creed is the warrior ethos. And, and within that warrior ethos, the, uh, the fourth line, the last line is, I will never leave a fallen comrade. Just as our warrior ethos uh, describes, we will never leave a fallen comrade. We will never leave a family. With the global war on terrorism kicking off and the number of service members that have rotated uh, multiple tours, it takes a drain on the family. But knowing that you have a program, the AER program, that also is there to assist uh, is tremendously beneficial. I have always been uh, a supporter of it. My son got real sick. You know, y'all really dealing with the fact of going to war and all that kind of stuff. And, and your only son has cancer. I think that's, that's a blow in itself. Keep going faster. AER actually paid all my medical bills, and they didn't give me a loan. And that's one great thing about it. They gave me a grant, meaning I don't pay anything back. I think that helped us a whole lot mentally because I was really drained. I was drained. And so... Um, that boosted me up, you know. But I think, I think my son has taught me a lot, a whole lot, as far as being a soldier, too. Because my son never complained. He never cried. And he would always say, Dad, I'm going to be all right. Dad, I'm going to be all right. Yeah. 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 Actually, it all started with me breaking my foot. And then uh, my house not being able to sell end of a seven-year relationship. It just seemed like every time something would happen, uh, I'd have an unexpected expense, and next thing you know, I had to come up with, you know, rent fees and stuff like that. It just took out of my budget. I went to AER, and they cut me a check. And I really am so glad that they're taking notice that the National Guard is here and that they want to help me. So now that we know we can come to AER, that's awesome. That's awesome. If you are a member of the active component, you are a member of the Army National Guard or the Army Reserve. If you are a dependent, a spouse, widow, orphan, or a retiree, you can come to Army Emergency Relief and get assistance. I thought at one point I was sort of forgotten by the Army, and I was trying to live off of twelve, thirteen hundred dollars a month. And you try to pay for two cars, you try to pay for car insurance, you try to pay your electricity, you try to pay your rent, and time you do all that, there's no money for gas, there's no money for uh, food, and it was just a struggle for me from month to month just to try to live. Army Emergency Relief helped me when I didn't think anybody else would help me. The people were friendly, they were wonderful, they never said, well, uh, we'll try to help you. They said, we're going to help you, and they did. Army Emergency Relief is there for 
the retirees and the active duty people. It'll always be there. If you run into financial difficulties at any time, and you know we all do, uh, don't hesitate to come to Army Emergency Relief because you can get a interest-free loan or a grant very quickly, very easily, and it's so easy to get a scholarship. A lot of people don't realize that Army Emergency Relief provides college-level scholarships for dependent children and spouses. Even though my husband is the one that's in the service, I'm the backbone of the family when he's deployed. We only have the one income right now with the new baby on the way. It's, it's difficult. You know, love is great, but it takes money, you know, to support a family. I'm working towards my Bachelor of Arts degree in criminal justice. AER made it possible. They gave me a scholarship. It's, it's very, very important to me, and I don't know how possible this would be without the help of AER and the scholarship fund. They're a lifesaver. In the Army, I'm an operating room tech. Seven, you can't be distracted. Three, four, Someone's five. life is in your hands. You can't think about pay issues. It's like, oh, I just swiped my card and what? I have no funds, my bank account, what, what just happened? But that's when all the stress really hits, you know? Like this morning, we're supposed to report to the hospital to help out, you know, learn about anything OR that can help us out while we're over in Iraq. And here we are, worried about money issues, calling the units, calling whoever was dealing with our pay things. And then we show up at AAR, and they're like, what do you need? And we're like, what? It's that easy? And they're like, well, yeah, this is what we're going to do. And sign here, fill out the paperwork, make a copy of an ID and your orders. And I came out with a $602 check, and I'm like, let's go. Army Emergency Relief has done a great job in the last couple of years having commander's programs, setting up and making this a commander's program. They give the commanders at the lowest possible level enormous leeway in making loans and making the decisions. It's not a bureaucratic program, it's a commander's program. As uh, commanders, I think it's important that we recognize those soldiers that need help and let them know it's okay to come forward and, that, and ask for the help that, that the Army can provide them. I never see a unit come together more than when a soldier or their soldier's family needs help. And with AER, what you're going to nurture is that philosophy of the Army values. You're going to nurture the philosophy of helping each other. You're going to nurture the philosophy of teamwork. Since I've been in the Army for the last 19 years, um, I've had soldier issues. And I've always heard the term AER, Army Emergency Relief. So I, as a leader, uh, advocated and I tell my younger leaders, hey, send your soldiers to AER if they need to. Being a man does not always mean, okay, no thanks, I can handle it myself. Being a man also says, hey, I can accept help. My association with, uh, with Army Emergency Relief goes all the way back to being a platoon sergeant, first sergeant, and as a command sergeant major. And today as a sergeant major of the Army, I sit on the Army Emergency Relief Board of Managers. Well, I'm very proud of what uh, Army Emergency Relief does. Go to your chain of command, squad leader, platoon leader, platoon sergeant, first sergeant, company commander. Go to the AER section on post or go to AERHQ.org. Army Emergency Relief is all about soldiers helping soldiers.